outside of being one of the greatest football coaching minds in NFL football history, John Madden is synonymous with the sports of football, period. John Madden, not even joking, was probably the first white man to ever have been invited to the barbecue with no debate. And John Madden has been in, been in more black households than box fans. Dead ass serious. John Madden in that little black pot that your grandma used to cook in has been in more black households than anybody I can ever think of. You cannot say football without thinking John Madden. John Madden is the reason I wanted to play football. John Madden had me putting Deion Sanders at quarterback in 1994 and 95. John Madden had both of my thumbs, my thumb and my first finger hurting for trying to run a four flat 40 in Madden 1996. John Madden, when he wasn't hosting NFL on Fox, I put it on mute. John Madden was one of the people you thought was going to live forever. No debating. Like, I thought John Madden was going to outlive me. I thought John Madden was going to outlive the sports of football. John Madden is the reason I feel like I could be an NFL coach right now, damn it. We need every play, that get, the first play of every game that gets played on Sunday need to be off the John Madden football game right now. John Madden had gray hair since he was nine years old. I ain't never seen John Madden without hair. John Madden had the best Alabama haircut I've ever seen on anybody. Condolences to John Madden's family. Homie passed away at 85 years old. Thought John was a little bit older than 85. But John Madden, John touched a, a lot of people, man. John Madden, he mended some relationships. He don't even know about it. John Madden destroyed some relationships. He has no clue. John, John Madden, the reason some people are married. Madden football is the reason fathers stayed home and were great fathers. Madden football was the reason fathers left. John Madden had gave women power. When I went acting right, just go by that man. Now I set my ass right down. I can't believe it. May his name, his name gonna live on for $69 every once a year. His name gonna live on forever. But to the friends and family of John Madden, y'all knew a great guy. He touched a lot of lives, had a lot of positivity about him. His voice is absolutely hypnotic. I can hear pow. That's a great play. Why did he do that? I can hear that in my sleep forever. John Madden was in the movie The Little Giants. He's the reason that Danny's Little Giants beat Al Bundy's Cowboys. Because he stopped and he made Emmett Smith them get off the bus in the backyard of a gas station with some kids randomly. Because he was on his way to Canton. How the hell he get lost in the movie Little Giants? Anyways, RIP to John Madden. You a king. You up there with Park and Biggie, homie.